This is Record Royale, where we throw two albums into the ring with one another and see which one comes out on top. Hello. Yo-ho-ho. Hey. Hey. hey my How are we doing? What's up? Yeah, good, thank you. I'm uh I'm buzzing on Disco Week. Let me, me tell you that much. <laughs> Your head's gone. <laughs> 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 on the uh, dance floor. The, there you go. Body zoom background. Yeah, we got our we got our Disco 70s backgrounds for this week's oh, episode. Yeah. And uh let me tell you, it's been a fun week. Before we get into these albums, though, uh we've been to some gigs this weekend, haven't we? Oh yeah. I, I was uh I well yeah. You Adam's been, you've been in Orange, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Back Dogs in the hometown. Oh, yeah. How'd you go? How'd you go in Orange? Yeah, pretty good. Didn't do much. Any, Just ate some eggs. Any wins? Some Just eggs? some eggs. No, no, I was only there for like a, a, a day. I went to a Korean restaurant. Whoa. That was pretty good. Yum. Cool. That's about, that's my wins. <laughs> anyway, you guys proceed with your gig talks. Friday night. Was it Friday? No, Saturday night. Saturday. I went to Rum Jungle. Uh, Benny McIntyre, former guest of the pod, all four of the boys, friends of the pod, big friends of the pod, actually, mm-hmm. um, at the Cambridge Hotel. My first gig, standing up gig, since uh, God knows when, February Ever. of 2020, perhaps. Oh, wow. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I tell you what, it was bloody brilliant. Looked it was packed. packed. It yeah, was yeah packed. it looked packed to the rafters. It was Jeez, super fun. They sounded great. Beers were flowing. It was just a great time. It was oh, yeah. really fun. They sure killed it as well. Uh, the band who played before, The Shang. Shout out to The Shang. That was sick as well. They ended their set on uh, That's My Scene, but they but they played the What's My Team version Decent. by Decent. the Hoodoo Gurus. So that was, uh, that yeah, was, that was a tick, that was a tick <laughs> in my box yes, for sure. So good. Nice. Best NRL theme yet. Mm-hmm. How was uh, Lamphead, Brad? Lamphead on Sunday night was so good. They could have gone on to bloody any stage in the world and smashed out that set. They were so tight for their first ever show. Shout out to all the boys. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, That's sick. Yeah, it was a really good night. Um, I, I was a bit sensible. I didn't. I just had a, I was on the waters. Whoa. Yeah. You know? Good Being boy. a good boy. I know. What was that? Wow. Uh, oh, I just made everything a bit easier. All right. <laughs> it was, you know, good Easter Sunday. Yeah. Um, Decent. Yeah, but no, it was great. It was good to be back at a show. Good to be back at a rock show. Been to a couple like house shows, but that was the first full-on gig since God. Mm. No clue. Was it awkward? Well, Did people know what to do? <laughs> yeah, every, everyone was fine once. <laughs> once once I get into up. it, yeah. muscle memory, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone was fine. Oh, uh, that's great. There was definitely a few champions that um they must oh, have just no. got over the uh the the main dance floor at the. Had oh, the cane right. bone waltz yep. their way in there, you know. They're like kind of taking the piss, but turns out they were the ones who were uh, being looking silly because they didn't taking know the piss out of. Yeah. yeah, yes, exactly. As you'd expect, uh, yeah. that main room. So. Too much discoing. It's a bit of a zoo. A few bit champions zoo. in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> uh, sick. Hey, this is episode forty-eight. Next week, you know what that is? Forty-nine. You know what comes after forty-nine? Fifty. Episode fifty. Whoa. We are. Can't believe it! Episode fifty. It's also yeah. our one year anniversary. So two big, uh, two big milestones. One Beautiful. episode. It's I think cute, it is guys. anyway. Mm. Who gives a shit? That's that's we've close well. enough. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm, we've done um, well. And for our fiftieth episode, we want you, the listeners. <laughs> we want you, two fans. We want two fans to come on the show, and partake in a game of music trivia. Now we posted about this on our social media this week uh and if you haven't already gotten involved get involved we're going to pick two people uh this episode comes out on monday we'll probably pick him in like a couple of days so if you listen to this on monday or tuesday or wednesday even you still got time so you're going to come on the show we want two people to come on the show verse each other in music trivia we're also going to play spox and specs and two truths and a lie in that and the winner will get a big prize the runner-up We'll also get a little prize. A hug from. We'll also all get of us. a little. Yeah, yes. you'll get you'll get some sort of you'll get some sort of prize. Don't worry. <laughs> and you also get to be on the show. You get to be on the fiftieth episode, recorded, be on the Zoom call. You can have a cool Whoa. virtual background if you want. If if you don't want, 
That's fine. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, who knows what Makes the thing way will funner. be. Yeah. yeah it, it, my head disappears every 30 seconds. <laughs> there I go again. Uh, oh, I'm gone. I'm back. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to get involved, if you want to try and be in it to win it, uh, go to our social media pages at Record Royale and good luck. And we might see you in the Zoom call in two weeks. Excellent. New friend. That's crazy. But today, we're talking about couple of 1970s disco albums, baby. Ooh, baby. Earth, Wind and Fire, I Am, is going up against Children of the World by the Bee Gees. Um, we kind of decided on doing these two albums like a few weeks ago and since then I have not stopped playing <laughs> these two. They're so good. Yeah. They're so been, much fun. They've been so good with the... Um, we've done a few like sadder albums in the weeks since mm. we picked them. And these have been my palate cleansers, I think. <laughs> yeah. Like between Legit. listenings of like just depressing depressing songs. <laughs> just listen to this to bring myself back up again. It's it, been great. It's such been a really good great. um such a good start of the day. When yeah. you pop these on, you're, yeah. you're just jogging out of bed. <laughs> jogging into the shower room. It's yeah. impossible yeah. not to it to at least tap your feet to every track. I've, I've found great. that I've literally listened to Can't Let Go off the Earth, oh Wind & Fire God. album every <laughs> single morning on my walk yeah. to work. It's so good. That's we my should, first song I listen to of the day and I'd never have a bad day. Wow. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. Um, cool. So Earth, Wind Fire, they formed in Chicago, 1969. This is their ninth studio album released on the 9th of June, 1979 by ARC and Columbia Records. So Columbia Records, they're still kicking it now. They're huge. I'm pretty sure they're pretty big back then too. So they were... Not a small band. No, uh, no. Produced by Morris White, which was the band's founding member. Um, there's a lot of band members. I'm not going to name them, but there's a lot of people doing a lot of different cool stuff on this mm-hmm. album. Uh, five singles. Uh, Boogie Wonderland. Classic. Uh, Boogie Wonderland, by the way, was the first time you ever heard that song in like the second or third last episode of The Office where they all dance with Daryl. Yeah. That's Boogie Wonderland, what they dance to. Oh, That's no, the first I time I heard that, that track. There you go. Yeah, heard that track yeah. and I was like, what is this? I need to listen to it all the time. Uh, uh, After the Love Is Gone, In The Stone, Star and Can't Let Go were the other singles. It peaked at three in the US. It was NME's 16th best album of 1979. Jeez. I'd like to see the 15 better. Yeah. Uh, it was nominated for Record of the Year, Producer of the Year, Best Disco Recording and Best R&B Instrumental Performance at that year's Grammys. And After the Love Is Gone won the Grammy for Best R&B Vocal Performance by a Duo or Group. Wow. Yeah. Well Indeed. deserved. Good haul. Good haul. Very well deserved. Uh, the Bee Gees. Brothers Barry, Morris and Robin Gibbs formed the Bee Gees in 1958. <laughs> uh, they lived in England before moving to Redcliffe, Queensland, the home of the Brisbane Broncos. Woo! Before, Wait, no, not the Br- Brisbane Broncos. Who was it? The Dolphins. Red, Redcliffe, Redcliffe Dolphins. Dolphins. Yeah. That's it. Before moving back to England. Uh, this was their 14th studio album released on oh, nice. the 13th of September 1976 by RSA Records. That's just what they did back then. Bands pumped out an album a year. Have, you, have you heard any of their... Well, actually, have you heard like Spicks and Specs in those songs? I mm. can't say... I, like I know Spicks and Specs, but I can't say I know any other ones. They, well they were a completely different band when they were in Australia. They were like... A, I don't know how they sound like the monkeys or something, and then they just quit and then came back and Did disco. started singing high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> super That's high, so crazy. Anyway, um, four singles off this one. You should be dancing. You should be dancing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Love so right. Boogie child. Both use the word boogie. And children of the world. I was actually surprised you stepped into my life wasn't a single because yeah, I knew same. that track. The biggest song, one of their biggest. Yeah. 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 Um, it peaked at eight in the US and sixteen in Australia. I, I'm not sure if there was UK charts at the time of this because I couldn't find anything for it. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for the BGS and little fact section. Let's get into the elements. Um, I just wanted to say off the bat, there is there is so much going on. In these albums yeah it's insane there's so many instruments playing so many different parts and the structures are so crazy especially on i am yeah were, were yeah. earth wind fire ahead of their time were, were every, was everyone sure. doing this I, I was it, thinking it's insane in the, the first like four tracks are like parts of it the transition between after the love is gone into let your feelings show that mm. sax that's just yeah. going wild and then mm-hmm. that like that house beat comes in 
That yeah. sounds like something off the avalanches, I reckon. It really does. I think, mm. well, this is towards the end of the disco era as well. Mm. It's 1979. Like, it truly kicked off well. like really early 70s. So I'm sure they had a bit of time to figure out what's going on. Mm. But this album sounds, it's perfect. Perfectly yeah, it's, produced. It's yeah. crazy. It's, it, it does, I know. Like I always think, I think Thriller by Michael Jackson is one of the best like produced and mixed mm. albums ever. And that was what year that came out? That came out, 80, came out at least, I think at least like five years after this. Yeah. So Early 80s. like it's just it, the mix is so good. You can hear yeah. everything, mm. and there's so much going on. Yeah, all the it's strings insane. and stuff, like all the, and it's like panned so that oh, it just goes all the way. Yeah. Anyway, best to listen to with <laughs> headphones. Yeah. The panning and stuff is awesome. Everything uh, has a spot in the mix. Yeah. Mm. It's insane. Uh, Thriller came out in '82, actually. It's so only a few years yeah. after this, but. Still, wow. it's it's just so good. Like, yeah, and as you said, the transitions between songs, even like transition between sections of songs. Yeah. Mm. The intro, uh, you said can't let go before, the big horn intro, and then it just <laughs> diddle, 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 boom, love is born oh, and true. It's, a bad and it's just like a different, it, it completely co- catches me off guard yeah. every time. Yeah, The, the, the p- groove in that song, how like when it gets into the middle and that synth line, that... <laughs> it's like my favorite thing. Might be my favorite section of a song I've listened to this year. I reckon. Wow. <laughs> Go on, and that's a big call. It's but a I big call, so, but I've, so fair. I listen to that song just for that part because it makes me so happy listening to it. Hmm. Because I don't like know this music that well. I keep expecting like I mean, after the love is gone is a bit slower, but I just kept expecting a part to be like a bit of a dud. And there just isn't <laughs> because it just keeps... I, I love after love is gone. Even no, though it's same. Slow. I'm saying yeah. like it's. It, I'm not saying it's a dud. I'm saying it's a bit slower, but yeah, it's still yeah. so groovy. But I was expecting the slower songs to like be a bit shit. Not hit as Boogie hard. Wonder, yeah. Boogie Wonderland is, I think, one of their biggest tracks. Mm. And then yeah. the start of Star, I thought was going to be that dud. Mm. And then Star is just so good as well. Yeah, it's, it just like, keeps on hitting. Yeah. The the only song on there that I wasn't like massive on was Rock That. I think. Yeah, it's is kind that, of a bit out of place. It, it gets a bit. Yeah. It sounds a bit like um, oh, what's it? ZZ Top in bits? <laughs> like there's a few like guitar solos in there. Where I'm mm. like, oh, come that's on. That's the guys. instrumental one, isn't it? What did you say? Is it is it instrumental rock that? Um, I th- yeah, think so. I think I so. Think it it's yeah. it's a massive jam at the end, and it's just like yeah. all these guitar you mean. solos yeah, the and gu- stuff, and the guitars went like a bit dirty. In yeah, the yeah. And it, and it, I don't know if it fits with everything else. Mm. But that's just yeah. my two cents. You're right. They oh even end of um let your feelings show that gets super jammy as well. Yeah, just, but they in let a good it go. way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They just let they must have just let the let the guys go and jam and it sounds so good. Yeah, but I really like smokes. the the last song as well. You and I, even though it's like mm. that's also kind of a slower one, but that the chorus so, you and I that like <laughs> oh that's begging to be sampled that track. Yeah. All right. This, this right. music, when you watch live, is the best. It is the best to watch live. <laughs> like this huge jam, every like there's ten people on stage, but rare. Well, not rarely, but I find a lot of the times you'll you'll see a band like this you never hear of, and then you're like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna check them out, and then you listen to it, and it's like, oh, it's not as good. Yeah. But this this holds up so well. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, converts to the 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 record so well. Mm. Sex on Toast. Shout out to Sex on Toast. <laughs> oh, he levitated. <laughs> he actually did. The, oh, yeah. the Bee Gees album, I don't think, had the same sort of... Um, I don't, it didn't have as much going on, but it was still good. No. It just didn't have the polish, I think, that yeah. this one did. But and it makes you think, back then, you kind of don't know what kind of team they had behind them, how long all this took and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah, there could have been dozens of people working on that. Earth, Wind and Fire album. Yeah. And same with the Bee Gees as well. But it is about four years before as well. So. Well, was this, I think, was this before Saturday Night Fever? Mm, Good question. I'm not sure. Or was it after? Because if it was after, they definitely had the team. It was yeah. one year before. One year Saturday before. Night Fever came out in 77. <laughs> I read before that um, after Saturday Night Fever came out, the Bee Gees made 2% of all of the music industry's money. 
What? The global Holy music shit. industry's money, 2% of it went to the Bee Gees. Hmm. Like, wow, good. It was just like <laughs> the biggest album stat. that had ever what? been at the time. It's huge if true. No, it, it is true. <laughs> that that album, the how that it much was, was it after the Saturday Night Fever album? Yeah, how much was it? Do you like how? Much uh, I don't know, it? but they they were like the most. That was the top album of the year, and oh, won wow. like all the Grammys as well. Mm. That's a crazy stat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, it is the a crazy vocals stat. on Children of the World are like funny. How high pitched it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone knows that from Staying Alive mm. by the Bee Gees, but consistently so even like different backing vocals like there's um obviously not the same singer but some are super just weird like yeah. in lo- uh, lovers yeah like the the backing vocal sounds like oh no yo 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah what song's that in <laughs> lovers oh yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. laughed out loud when that yeah. happened it's so it's oh, so yo, yo. odd <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen that um saturday night live the um that skit that justin timberlake and jimmy fallon used to do what one is it? They, they used to pretend to be the the Gibbs brothers and they would have a talk show. <laughs> they would just like have like uncontrollable fits of singing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's hard to yeah, explain without you seeing it, but I might post it in the group. Might yeah. make a post. Whoa. 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 Are you post should. alert. Post alert. Oh, you should. <laughs> wee, wee. Sound the alarm. There it is. <laughs> We're the Real Epic Facebook group, Real. Yeah. going to get being touched up this week. No way. Hey, if you're in that group, you're more likely to get a, sh- a spot on the show. Episode yep. 50. It's coming in hot. Wow. It's coming in hot. I, I did find with the BJ's album, it, it dragged a bit yeah. near the back end. They definitely pumped the, the, mm. the first side of the record up. I wonder yeah. how many times they said love in the album. <laughs> yeah. I can, I'm going to say, maybe I'll count it. I'm going to say like 200 and... <laughs> no, maybe one, 140, I'm going to yeah. say. I would say I don't think either of these albums are like lyrical gold. <laughs> no, they're no, both no. just but, all about having sex or dancing. That's the only two. But things But I think that, that's that's all that all that's all that mattered. That's what then. disco was, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah exactly. I think on the Earth, Wind, and Fire album, it matters less because the you just you're more like taken back by the production and everything else going on. And the Bee Gees, you kind of listen to it a little bit more, mm. and you're like, oh. it's more about them than the music. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. 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 Right. It's literally I'm just going through some lyrics now. It's literally all about I have sex a couple. or dancing. Yeah. Um uh, Oh lips so sweet. I love can't be beat. Oh my darling, oh yeah. I love like yours and mine. Um it's some off oh, some other stuff. That sounds like something else the cows would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So funny. Good on them though. Good on them. Yeah. Disco, hey, I think disco has is arguably the, one of the most important years of music. Think about like DJing started there. Yeah, like you like the whole like just going out scene starts there. Yeah, it's crazy. And like same sex dancing wasn't was illegal until um that I think it was called like the Stonewall Riots or something where they had this underground club. And they like the police did a raid or something. They locked him in there, and then all this these riots happened, and they changed all these um all these laws. It's insane. Like and like people expressing themselves, fashion completely yeah. changed. You know, mm. dudes dudes got fit, started wearing really really uh tight clothes. Mm. You know, it's crazy. It is. And like, yeah. And I think that still comes through today with like house music as well. There's mm. that, still that same feeling. I went to Very that rave show. As well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all colors, all sexualities, whatever you want. When mm. I went to that rave the other week, the 404 one, it was just kind of the same feeling. I think they have the best crowds. Mm. In, in like, I've never been to a better better crowds than at house shows because everyone's just there having a good time. Yeah. No one's looking for anything else but to have a boogie. No one's doing chewies. No, no, no shoes. No, Thank the Lord. Shoes allowed. <laughs> Thank the Christ. Up yeah, up I above. would. I would have loved to seen Earth, Wind, Fire yeah. live. Can you imagine? Oh my <laughs> you can God. say Earth, Wind, and Fire do a shoe. Mm. Yeah, out of their, yeah. I want to see their like White. ten inch boots that they wore. <laughs> <laughs> you get half a keg in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like six liters. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness! All right, let's get into the segment. No shooting. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's do get inked. Get inked. All right, we're gonna make some tattoo designs. I'm gonna go first because I said I whipped these up just before we recorded. I yeah, I, I had it done. Same. Did mm-hmm. not. And I want to go first because this first one is. It is not funny, it's not creative, and I, it, you're not going to be happy with me. <laughs> All right, so Earth, Wind, Fire, this is my tattoo from Boogie Wonderland, mm-hmm. but instead it's Booger Wonderland, <laughs> and it's you got a tattoo, you got a, you got a drawn hand, and on the tip of your index finger is like a big ghastly booger. Oh, real wet. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any backups or not? Nah? <laughs> oh, Will, that was shittest. the worst one ever. You were right. Uh, that's <laughs> easily the shittest take <laughs> of the whole pod, I think. I thought mine was shit. My, I've got a shit one, but oh. it's really bad. Will. Oh, Will. What's nothing, your nothing. You got nothing better than that. <laughs> Maybe just like, I don't know. What's your scar? BG's one? <laughs> Let's move on and forget. <laughs> oh my god! Booger Wonderland, Bo- boys. Booger, Booger, Booger Wonderland. Wonderland. No, I'm not laughing. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him that. Don't give him that. Oh dear. Ad. Alrighty, uh, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> from lovers from the BGS, I mentioned the before the backing vocals. Mm-hmm. So the line where it's like, you got to make you understand. I thought it sounded like Oscar the Grouch. So I was match- imagining just like Oscar the Grouch in like a big. 70s dance outfit doing like the disco finger yeah um, that's cool I yeah fuck with that yeah but Shout i can't Oscar. really redeem myself so let's move on brad you mm-hmm. can go next okay so from let your feelings show off the earth wind and fire record i think the line is soul chase the moon oh babe shadows hug the broom whoa i'm thinking like the the dreamworks moon at the start of every dreamworks movie yeah but instead of the little dude um fishing you can have just two people having a boogie with the um, disco ball hanging from the top. If oh, you know that's what I mean? sick. That's really so like good. A, like a disco on the moon. Yeah. Disco. That tastes good. Kind that of is nice. good. I like and that. And from the Bee Gees, um, from Subway, <laughs> I've got to make it to the midnight train, so take me to the subway. You guys have been to Bank Corner, that cafe just off Hunt yeah. Street. Mm. At the back, they have that, like, that little courtyard, and there's always... They have these things on these windows, which makes it look like there's like a steampunk party, like 40s party going on just beyond these doors. Yeah. I'm going to take that idea, like have like a tattoo of like a, a train and you can see like silhouettes in the windows, but it's like a disco party. Oh, this. yeah. Brad, well, you can, if you can see that. They're heaps good. They, they are, are really good. That would good. be sick as well. Yeah. <laughs> what are yours, Adam? I had also for BGs, for, I had Subway. But I was. This is by a shit one. It was just like a side view of like a like a cartoon, like the New York subway, just a kind of a grey one, and then just in three of the windows, just the brothers Gib hanging out of it with maybe the Bee Gees logo on the train, in like that's a graffiti. Good. So it's yeah, like yeah. the New York subway. Pretty that's shit that one. Similar. That's kind of similar though to Brad. It's a kind subway of similar. Vibe. Um, also, by the way, that song <laughs> I can't work out what it's about. Yeah, yeah. Is it about sex? <laughs> Let's just be safe. And like, well, I can't like figure out sex. what the metaphor with the subway is. I think he's actually just trying to get on the subway to go to the party. <laughs> but then he talks about so much about love and making love. But then something. Then he also has to get on the train. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Um, and then my my one for work, Earth, Wind, and Fire um, from Boogie Wonderland. The line is "Dance and shake the hurt." Um, I just thought maybe disco stew. And he's got like that. Well, what John Travolta's doing in my background right now. Yeah. So he's put, got one arm up, but then the other arm is in a sling because he's hurt. Ah. So he's dancing and shaking the hurt. Yeah. Okay. Mm. There you go. That's cool. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty shit. Do you, <laughs> pretty shit I'm just around. Around the words to Subway. He says the midnight train. Do you reckon that's a, a, a meaning for take me to, got to make it to sex? Take me to sex town? Mm. Going to sexy, sexy town. 
Anyway, guys, Booger Wonderland. All right, let's do the ad. All righty. Favorite tracks, one for each album. I'm going to go first to kick it off because I'm stealing Adams. Mine is Can't Let Go. It's yeah. got to be. The second track on the Earth, Wind, Fire album. The way I said it before, but the way it comes in after the intro when the vocals come in, it's amazing. And the vocal melody, I can't let go. <laughs> I've had that. Oh, I've had, a, I've had every track in my head, but that nice. one just stands out. So cool. Bee Gees. I know it's the first track and it's like the main track, but I think You Should Be Dancing is the best song in the album. Yeah, it is. Um, Big standout. Because it's a disco album and it immediately mm-hmm. makes me want a disco. Yeah. Just from that, like, coming in. For sure. It's kind of like eerie and weird, but it's really cool. Uh, what are yours, Brad? I'm going to go... I think I'm going to let your feelings show. Yeah, this one, as I said before, the outro is super jammy. The, the percussion... Is so strong in that song, mm. um, and he's like, "Baby," <laughs> he says that a couple times. It's heaps cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna address baby, 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 baby from now on. Baby. Maybe um, for the BGs. Ooh, I'm gonna go. Um, was it? Oh, come keep a good man down. <laughs> that was that mine. Was the, I thought no one would take it. Yeah, the um. Just the, the the drumming in that sick. Heaps heaps cool. And like the the hook's pretty strong as well. Mm. Yeah. But my yeah. first choice was Should Be Dancing because I think that is the best song in the album. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, Adam. Adam. Um, Are both of yours taken? Yeah. Well, and my backups. <laughs> so, so I'll, I'll go from I reckon. for I Am. I might just yeah. go. I'll go. Let your feelings show. Actually, so it's yeah. actually just, the three in a row that we've picked. Well, um, wait. No, I did let your feelings show. Oh, sorry. Um, after love is gone. <laughs> yeah. After love is gone. Yeah. Sorry. The That's slow weird. burner. Yeah. It's um yeah. the, the just the <laughs> the audacity on that track. The amount of key <laughs> changes. <laughs> it just sorry, keeps yeah. going up, and you can't. You think they can't do it again, and then they go up again, and then they might go down. It's just crazy. Like it's. Bit of a, a great song. And then at the end, with that massive it's sax, sax solo, solo that just mm. absolutely wails and then goes into Let Your Feeling Show. It's just a, it's a solid opening couple of tracks, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. Um, you shouldn't, shouldn't gloss over In the Stone as well. That's not yeah, sick. Yeah. yeah. Um, opening seat. For BGs. Um, maybe you stepped into my life. Yeah. That I was think. my backup, I reckon. Yeah, I love the... Yeah, another great song. My third favourite. <laughs> so, yeah. there. <laughs> I was going to say Can't Keep a Good Man Down as well, but, yeah, we'll go with mm. You Stepped In My Life. Nice. There you go. Very similar thoughts this week. Mm. You, uh, you love to see it. All right, let's do Spocks and Spacks. Everyone on your buzzers, let's play Spocks and Spacks. All righty. Oh, Okay. Bradley, you're singing this week three tracks, different we words. What are you reading from this week? We're reading from April 2021, Newcastle Food Month, the pamphlet. Cool. Um, so if you're newy, you know there's plenty. There's plenty of events on this week. Um, Adam, <laughs> I'm looking at this one, Newcastle Night Noodle Market. We might Whoa. When's uh, that? The 9th and the 10th, which is very soon. <laughs> It's it'll be Friday la- Saturday, as this com- as this comes out. It'll, oh, the noodle market have I'm already going. been gone. So sorry, Newcastle. Just <laughs> actually going to that. And I think there's also a few where is it? there's a there's a gin little <laughs> gin bar, gin Whoa. bar expo or something. Maybe we should go. Oh, where when? Was it? <laughs> I guess we'll get to that in the secret song. gin event, tenth and eleventh. Newcastle Council also. should sponsor us for this little shout out we're giving them. Yeah, you're right. right. Now. Bastards. So should. Mm. Yeah, let's get some let's get some sponsorship. Let's get some government money in here. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. Seriously, <laughs> get us a taxpayer's dollar to fund yeah. this record, Real. Exactly. Uh, my buzzer this week will be. I'll just do what Brad said before. A baby. Yeah. <laughs> let your feelings show. Gotta say, baby. Adam. Um, I'll go dancing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Love it. it. All right, we're ready. To first two tracks from these two albums and the wild card. Hit us with it, Brad. I'll do nine every Thursday in April for a drive. 
Baby. Oh shit. Babe, that's that's you should be yeah. dancing. Is yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Whoa, that was fast. You, Brad, you did you did the accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, he should have. I want to be in character. It's, 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 I want to be in character. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> okay. That was, really that was so quick. Yeah, I, I wanted to do the I wanted to do the hook, but uh, you, I guess well, you, you got to sing worse. That's a testament to your brilliant singer. April. <laughs> that was for um the stadium drive through, which is on the eighth, the fifteenth, the twenty second, and the twenty ninth of April at McDonald's Jones Stadium. Alrighty, if you want to get in, <laughs> shout out the home of the uh, new ones. <laughs> next up, we got the Signal Box pop up sparkling and oyster bar, which Alrighty. also sounds pretty that good. Sounds so good. <laughs> on the tenth, the sixteenth, and twenty third. Oh, I'm going. Twenty five bucks per person. That's pretty good. Oh, that's heaps good. That's like Sp- six. Oysters, if you just buy them, anyway. Yeah. Spewing ain't that bad. All right, Brad. Yeah, it's quite good. All right, here we go. Join us each Friday night in April for the sick baby. Oh, I still bar. Join us in. in. Oh, did you I, go? Him, oh, you can keep singing if you want. Okay, here we go. I, I still get Join first guess, though. Sparkling yeah. 25 each. Each week we will feature a. I know what it is. Red oyster yeah. variety. <laughs> Freshly sweetened. <laughs> oh, the falsetto. Um, yeah, right Uh Is it. I hope I get this wrong now, but is it Boogie Wonderland? It is Boogie Wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to do the first hook at the start, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's beautiful. Thank you. I was practicing that one for a while. You're killing um, it, Brad. All right, watch this wild card track. One track we have covered right. on the pod before. <laughs> Here we go. Set under festoon lighting In hanging lanterns feast Your senses on the smell and taste of Newcastle Night Noodle Market Oh. Baby! Oh. What do you I got, Sandy? It's Phoenix. Phoenix. It is it definitely is Phoenix. Phoenix track. Whoa. It's um, is it Rome? Oh, it is Rome. <laughs> yeah, yes. that was that was insane. Oh. No, Brad. Damn you! you that was really that, good. Brad. That was really good. I wanted to get to the. <laughs> I just got to say monotone the whole time. <laughs> um, um, uh, Clean sweep to Sany too. Holy yeah, no, I, I've, off today. I've uh, tallied up a few dubs in. I'm not good Spots and backs. Well, don't worry, mate, Damn. because. You get to redeem yourself with two truths and a lie. Alrighty. Adam's got three statements for us this week. Two are going to be true, one's a lie. And Adam, you mentioned before, they're all about... They're all about Robin Gibb. Robin <laughs> Robbie Gibb. Robin Gibb. Gibb. The uh, oh. apparent dark horse of the family. <laughs> oh, the- By the oh, way, I, I don't know if you guys know which one he is, but he's the one that doesn't look like he's going to be the dark horse of the family. He looks like oh, the okay. innocent. Is it the one he's balding? Or is he yeah. Like- ah, no, the other one. He's got like okay. quite a skinny face. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I see him. he's a crazy guy. All right. First you one. call him the Hugo of the band. Right. Before the Gibbs family moved to Australia in 1954, Robin accidentally lit half of the Gibbs family home on fire <laughs> after burning his brother Barry's church clothes in the kitchen. Whoa. God damn it, <laughs> yeah. Robin. In 1967, Robin and his then girlfriend, Molly Hollis, were involved in a uh, bus crash that killed 49 people. Train crash, sorry. It was a train crash. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 1980, in a fit of drug-driven madness, Robin Gibb threatened to hire a kit man to kill his former wife, Molly Hollis. A hit man? A hit man. He threatened to hire a hit man to his wife. So he okay. didn't go through with it. To kill her. Yep. I'm going to say the first one is too crazy for Adam to make up. What was that's, the first one again? That's insane. First one is that before the Gibbs family moved to Australia in 1954... Robin accidentally lit half the Gibbs family home on fire after burning his brother Barry's church clothes in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that's true. There's as well. so much to that. Yeah, that's. I hope that's true. That's I think multi. That's true. Di- yeah, multi. I'm thinking the last one's a lie. I I reckon. Yeah. I reckon one of them. I reckon two or three is definitely the lie. Yeah, I'm going to say because as well. he's mentioned the 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 girlfriend twice or the wife mm. whatever. Um, I'm going to go with three. The the hitman. Mm-hmm. There was no I'll hitman involved in Robin's life. There was a bus crash in the UK. That was a train. 
Train crash, train too? crash. Mm. And how many people died? 49 49 people. people. 49, that's a lot. Yeah. And, did and he him and his girlfriend survived. Were they, were they injured at all? Uh, his girlfriend was, but he wasn't. Wait, what year oh. was it? It was 1967. Uh, Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just stick with three. I'll go two then. Yeah, all right. All right. So, <laughs> first one, in 1980... <laughs> I'll go from the bottom. Okay. In 1980, in a fit of drug-driven madness, Robin Gibb did threaten to hire a hitman to kill his <laughs> former wife, Molly Holt. I suck at two truths Which is nuts. Uh, and in 1967, Robin and his then-girlfriend, Molly Hollis, were involved in a train crash <laughs> that killed 49 people. So I goose both of you. Oh, my um, God. Robin, <laughs> he didn't burn half their house down, but I did read a fact that said he was a bit of a pyromaniac. But that okay. was all that it said. Wow. Well played, Adam. You've yeah. done this again. Once See, again. Yeah. I think I might just like figure out what I think I'm going to go and then just go the opposite when Adam's <laughs> doing it because he just gets us every time. Robin Gibb <laughs> is a psychopath. Mm. You know what? Here we go. I'm going to say this right now. If, if a listener listening to this show wants to put in the time and go back and see how many times Adam has goosed us and won two truths and a lie. You don't only have to go to every third show yeah. to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. You can I'll cut some you, time. You, if if you if you want, you can probably come on the show for the fiftieth episode. <laughs> if you do something like that, because yeah. that'd be epic. Well, um, personally, I wouldn't do it. Can't be fucked. But I just know it's a lot because I never get them. There you <sighs> go, boys. Well, well played, done. Mate. Well done. Thanks. All guys. right, let's uh, rate these two disco albums out of ten. Uh, ten what oh. would you say for both? Oh. I don't know. Um, maybe, um, maybe lovers for BGS. <laughs> yeah. Or Gibbs. Or Gibbs. Ten, Gibbs. <laughs> ten Gibb brothers. Yeah, oh, out of God. ten Gibbs brothers, that's who's better. Um, maybe like I don't know. Boogie ten, Wonderlands. Boogie Wonderlands. <laughs> pretty. Boogie ten Wonderlands. Earth, Wind, and Fires. Maybe. To Earth, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> eh. That's not very Earth, good. That's also shit. Let's yeah. just do out of. Booger Wonderlands. Okay. <laughs> we'll do that, I guess. Um, I'm cool. kicking off. I haven't kicked it off, kicked it off in a while. Um, sick. Earth, Wind, Fire. I'm going nine. Nine Boom. Booger Wonderlands out of ten. This album rocked from start to finish. It had me dancing. It had me singing. It had me wanting more. And the songs are pretty long. And yeah. it still made me want more. More Earth, Wind, Fire. Um the vocal melodies are insane and the instrumentation is insane and the structures just blew my mind. It's so good. But uh, I think Rock That, I, I don't know, You and I and Wait, I don't remember as well as the others. They are the back half of the album, but I don't think I can give it a 10. I just, it didn't have that 10 for me. <laughs> but I'm giving it a 9. It's pretty good. 9 out of 10. That is pretty, 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 good. pretty, pretty, pretty good. good. Brad? Um... I'm going to go... What are we doing? Eight boogers. I'm going to go eight. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think... I'm I, I'm still not sure how truly impactful this album was due to how late it was in the, the era. But I think it is like a... Pro, it probably is. I don't know for sure. I'm sure it is like a, a magnum opus of the genre. <laughs> like it is a... It's a shining light and a... Like a conclusion to the era. Mm. I think I'm sure it. Oh, well, I hope it is because it'd be silly if I was if it wasn't. Um, but yeah, eight. It's so strong. It's so fun. It, it is the essence of disco. Um, yeah, eight. Cool, 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 cool. Adam, uh, I'm gonna follow up Will and go with a nine on this Woo-hoo! one. Um, yeah, I love this album. I've <laughs> really enjoyed going back to this over the last two weeks, just over and over and over again. Every time I get in the car, it's coming on. <laughs> Anytime yeah. I start drinking beers, this is what's it's coming, coming on. on. Oh, it's, it's quite Moorish, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's quite so Moorish. good. And it's good for every setting. It's not the most conceptual album, but it doesn't matter with this. It's kind of like, yeah, just like Daft Punk or something like that. I'm not that worried on the lyrics for this just because it's they don't matter. It's the harmonies, it's the melodies, it's the... Yeah, all the glitz. Yeah. Um, the only Sonic. reason I wouldn't give it a ten is rock that. Rock that I skip. Every other yeah. song 
is a banger in my books. Sonically, yeah. it is like one of the best albums I've ever heard. Yeah, it's so good. It's just <laughs> it crazy. Um, yeah. yeah, you got you should get uh, maybe some terrible beers are on the cards and we just play Earthwind Fire on that. <laughs> yeah, Sounds I'll be good. so keen on that. Uh, that. Cool. After Let's, baseball. I'm trying yeah. to find it on, on vinyl, but anyway. Oh, that, that might be rare. Imagine that. Um, sick. Let's do BGs. What was that? Out of 10... Love it. Gibbs Brothers. Love it. Oh, no, Gibbs Brothers. <laughs> oh, yeah, Gibbs Brothers. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it six Gibbs Brothers. It's double as what's well mm-hmm. in the band. I was thinking seven, but I'm also thinking not really because I can't see myself going back to... No. Many of these tracks, except for You Should Be Dancing and Maybe You Stepped Into My Life, mm-hmm. maybe. First two tracks on the album. I mean, it's really solid and it's catchy as hell and it's pretty groovy, mm. but it doesn't have that, like, wow factor and it, like, as what I Am does, it doesn't make me want to mm-hmm. go back to it as much. Yeah. I don't know if that's the lyrics. I think it could be the production. It's got a lot to do with it, though, mm. as well. Not as, not as popping. And I think this mm. music really benefits from, like, clean... Um, huge production as Earthwind sure. Fire has. So, Feels like there's less grooves as well. Yeah, like. yeah, I think so too. Oh, so yeah, yeah, I'm going six Gibbs Brothers. <laughs> yeah, Bradley. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to back you up there. I think six feels pretty good. Um, yeah, it just doesn't have that polish. No, the Earthwind Fire has, and it feels like maybe like the. The drums must have been quantized, or or they just mm. played them perfectly on Open Fire because they're just not as perfect, and you just don't get that hard of the hard of a groove. Your head yeah. doesn't bop as much, but um, still some great songs on here. I'm sure um, this being a bit earlier in the the decade would have is maybe the reasons for why it's not as strong. Just I don't know it's a, <laughs> it was a long time ago. Yeah, technologies weren't where they are today. That's for sure. So I'm sure mm. it's still a it's still a big milestone, but yeah, six. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go the same. I'm gonna go with the six. So it just doesn't have the I don't know. Just doesn't have the same like pacing as the other the mm. other album does. I feel there's too many slumps. The other one just keeps you up the whole time, whereas this one is just like a little little short hits of great stuff and then mm-hmm. a lot to slog through as well. I did really like the song that you chose for your, the ad. Um, yeah. Brad, what was it called again? Yeah, can't, can't keep a good man, man down. Yeah. There's a few really cool change ups in that, um, in the different sections, mm-hmm. which are kind of reminded me more of like the stuff on I am, but yeah, it's a six. It's not quite there. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, all on the same page, big time. And Earth, Wind, Fire, I am gets a thrumping victory. <laughs> Twenty six out of thirty. That's a big Jeez. score. Beats the BGs. Six times three is eighteen out of thirty. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, it's going to go pretty week. deep for me. In the, hey, it's going deep. I'm just looking at the other, the other. We've given out some, some heavy scores yeah. this uh, season. Yeah. There's been some great albums. We only have one more week of albums listening to go before our 50th episode. We're not covering two albums on that. We're just doing a big party, and then the week after will be the bracket. It'll be 30 albums this time, and I'm really looking at this. I can 10 albums could win. Yeah. Maybe like fourteen. That's There's good. So many because the ones. last couple have been, <laughs> yeah, very um, obvious yeah. who's going to win. Yeah, like a, a, a six seed could very well win this <laughs> one, yeah. whereas the other times it was the one. Mm. But as we said, if the one seed wins, it just means we were right the first time. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's a few weeks away. We've wrapped up Disco Week. Next week on the show, I am smiling from ear to ear. Not only because of the two albums we're doing, but we have Tristan Tristan Higginson from Waxflower coming on. Bang. We've had Daniel Seymour on from Waxflower. Guess what? We've got the bassist vocalist coming on next week. <laughs> he's oh, yeah. a legend. He's such a nice guy. And he's coming on to do literally two of my top 10 favorite albums ever. So guess what? It's going to be another high scores for me. I hope <laughs> you guys like it. <laughs> Motion City Soundtrack, commit this to memory. It's going up against Say Anything is a Real Boy. I Huge think commit this to memory is like one of my favorite albums ever if I not listen to that album mate. maybe it's definitely top three it's probably top two is up there the with clarity with, um, by jimmy eat well it's with the green cover no nah, it's orange and like white commit this to memory by motion city soundtrack and is, is a one, real boys the, by is that the one with the big yeah every, uh, everything, everything is all right, is all right. 
Yeah, that's, that's a great smash to see a chat. Smash to see a chat. Anyway, <laughs> that's the next fight with Tristan from Wax Flower. That's going to be fucking sick. Uh, cool. That's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in for another ep of the show. 48 episodes in. Next week with Tristan. The week after that, episode 50. Remember to follow us on the socials at Record Royale. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Join the group. Adam's going to post the video. What was the video? Uh, the Saturday Night Live skit of the Gibbs Brothers. Yeah, it's going to go off. I can't wait to <laughs> give that a, it's gonna be a like a in big the man. group. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, follow us because if you want to come on the show, if you want to be in the Zoom call, be recorded, be in the show, uh, check out our socials because you can find out how to possibly win and get up and you'll win some prizes. Probably win a record, win a t-shirt, whatever you want. We'll you see. Make them do spokes and spacks so we don't have to. <laughs> yeah, no. No, it'll be good. <laughs> I think I might be. I might have to sing that because Adam, you sing next week, so I'll be up for episode fifty. Fortunately, can, yeah. anyway, we'll uh, we'll see how we go. So that's it for this week. Damn, what a week! What a week! Listen, to Earth, Wind, Fire. I am. It will legit put you in a good mood every day. <laughs> change your life. <laughs> It'll. It might change your it life. Might change Let's your life. Oh, you yeah. might be really sad at the moment. You won't be after this. We promise. And if you can't dance, you will be dancing. Yeah. (laughs) And you should be dancing, as the BG say. All right, let's dance off into next week. See you, boys. Booger Wonderland. (laughs) Woohoo!